What's up everyone? Today I'm down at Dave Edwards Toyota getting to take a look at the 2018 Toyota Camry. Huge thanks to them for providing this vehicle for today's video. Definitely check out their website in the description below. And the model that we're looking at today is finished off in midnight black metallic and has an MSRP just under 27000 Three engines are available this year. There's the 2.5 liter four cylinder, which also offers a hybrid option, and the optional 3.5 liter V6. Today we're looking at the two and a half liter four cylinder non-hybrid. It's paired to the eight speed automatic transmission with steering wheel mounted paddle shifters. The hybrid option will offer a CVT transmission. This engine here will produce 204 horsepower at 6,600 RPM and 184 pound-feet of torque at 5,000 RPM. It is front wheel drive, Weighs between 3,200 and 3,500 pounds depending on the engine and trim level that you go with. Zero to 60 can happen between five and a half seconds and eight seconds. And based off a 16 gallon fuel tank, you can expect the MPG to be 28 city and 39 highway. The wheelbase measures 111.2 inches. It has an overall length of 192.1 inches. The width is 62.6 and it has a height of 56.9 inches. Compared to the previous model, this one sits 1.2 inches lower, it's half an inch longer, 1.3 inches wider, which also improves its handling and ride quality overall. And starting up front with the excellent redesign from the previous generation, this vehicle features projector beam LED headlights with LED daytime running lights, a large mesh black center grille, and very aggressive lines coming along the hood. Disc brakes are in all four corners, measuring 12 inches up front and 11 inches in the rear. This vehicle offers the 18 by 8 inch black machine finished alloy wheels with a nice two-tone design. There are great contours that run along the door with a distinctive line running along the height of the door handle, which gives the vehicle a very nice side appearance running from the front headlight all the way to the rear tail light. And finishing up with the trunk mounted lip spoiler, the standard backup camera, LED tail lights, and the dual chrome tip exhaust. And now with the key, we'll go ahead and take a look at the interior. The door panel features a nice two-tone design. You have your automatic up and down front and rear windows with your lock switches, your side mirror control with your release button. You have some storage space down below. The seats are made from the Softex material. They have a nice pattern running along the center with good bolstering support. They have an eight-way power adjusting seat with lumbar support as well with your controls in the back. Once inside, we're greeted with a fully wrapped black leather steering wheel which has great hand positioning on either side. On the right side, we have your, all your cruise control buttons along with some modes for the radio. You have your lane keeping assist with a parking sensor button above that. This does have the paddle shifters for the eight-speed automatic transmission. They feel pretty solid. They're actually quite large as well. On the left side, we have all of your buttons for this center screen. These buttons also control your Bluetooth and voice commands. So now going ahead and clicking on the OK button will bring up your settings. You can go through your trip, your fuel economy, your average speed, different settings like that. You have your lane keeping assist, fuel gauge, and some other settings that you can scroll through. And we'll take a quick look at the gauges. You have your tack and engine temperature on the left side, your speedometer, and your fuel on the right. On the left side of the steering wheel, we have your gas cap and trunk release, your traction control, and your automatic headlight switch. A little bit of a cubby space below that. One air vent. And coming along the center is two air vents with your seven inch touchscreen display located below that. You have your power on and off for the radio, scrolling through your different channels. All of your buttons located on either side. We'll go ahead to the menu button. You can see your audio, phone, different apps, and setup that you can go through. Very easy to use. Below that is your dual climate control buttons with all of your different settings for the AC. We have a little bit of storage space in front of the shifter with a 12 volt and USB located down below. The shifter is wrapped in very nice leather. We can go ahead and put the car into reverse. You'll see your backup camera light up. Two cup holders located to the side of that, and then a very large center console. Very deep amount of room. We'll take a look at the glove box real quick. You have a good amount of room located down below there. 
And then we'll take one last look at this interior. This vehicle does offer the sunroof option and you have all of those buttons located up front. Some features offered on some higher level trim models include the JBL audio system, you get leather seats, an 8 inch touchscreen display with a 10 inch heads up display system, panoramic roof, a 360 degree camera, and wireless charging capabilities. Now it's time to take a look at the rear seating. Door panels finished off with the same two-tone design. You have your automatic up and down window with a little bit of storage space down below. And this is a five-seater, so let's go ahead and hop in. Both front seats have the storage pocket along with some storage in the center console. I have plenty of room for my feet. At 5'10", I have plenty of headroom as well. In the center, there's a pullout with two cup holders in it. And these seats do have a 60-40 split, so you can fold them completely down if you need some more room. Now we'll take a look at the trunk, and again, we can push on this button here. It'll automatically open up. This vehicle offers 15.1 cubic feet with these seats up. You can easily pull on each handle on both sides to lower the seats. You can see just how much more room you have, so you can easily fit anything that you need in this five-seater sedan. All right, so now it's time to take the 2018 Camry out for a test drive. So the first thing that I'm gonna talk about in the Camry is its new suspension. And this is the third vehicle to use the new suspension setup from Toyota. It utilizes the new TNGA platform, which they put in the new Prius and the new CHR as well. What it basically does is provides rear control arm suspension setup, which improves handling and steering of the vehicle. So that is pretty neat. Going around a couple turns here. I'm not going too fast, but I can definitely feel it's very planted for a just a normal daily driving sedan. As far as visibility goes in this vehicle, obviously looking out of the front is a very clear view. The A-pillars are very minimal, so you have hardly any blind spots looking past your side mirrors there. A quick glance over your left shoulder, and you can easily see out of that rear glass, and then obviously looking over your right shoulder, it's easily just as visible. The rear pillar back there is very minimal, so it's easy to see back there, and then obviously using your side mirrors and your rear view mirror will give you an excellent view out of that large rear glass. Technology features that are offered on the 2018, you get high beam assist, lane departure warning, which I mentioned earlier in the video, adaptive cruise control with a pre-collision system. That's part of the forward collision system that Toyota offers with auto emergency braking and pedestrian detection, blind spot monitoring, and of course, rear traffic alert. Those are gonna be offered in the higher trim levels. This one does not have all of those features, but it does offer a few of them. As this car is meant for a daily driver, it is very comfortable. I like where the steering wheel is positioned. These seats are comfortable as well. I do like the bolstering on the side of them. Just the feel of the steering wheel being leather wrapped is very comfortable as well. Everything is laid out in a nice position. I like the touchscreen display. All of the buttons are clearly marked. So that makes it easier to read each button. Obviously you have your voice command button on the steering wheel, which you can use hands-free of course and everything is just laid out in a very nice position. There's nothing too overdone about this dash. Steering wheel mounted paddle shifters are offered on this vehicle. You can also shift down using the shifter. We're gonna go ahead and just test it out here. For just a normal daily driving sedan, these are very responsive. As soon as I tap on that paddle, it is down or up into the next gear, which is very impressive. Obviously, you're not. most drivers are not gonna be using that, but as soon as I hit it, it is right into that next gear. Very impressive. So I can see why the 2018 Camry is very popular. This is a comfortable daily driving car to be in. It has plenty of room being a full five seater, plenty of room in the trunk, even with the rear seats up. Everything is so comfortable, very smooth ride again. I'm going over some bumps here. It absorbs them very well. I like the layout and the fabric and materials in this vehicle. You can also opt for the XLE, which will offer many more options. Some of the technology ones that I mentioned, along with different leather seats and some other wheel options as well. So you definitely have plenty of options with the Camry to spec it out as you'd like. And now we'll take one last look from the passenger side. Very nice looking interior, very nice fabric running along the dash and the seats as well. We'll go ahead and take a quick look in the rear seats with them down, so you can see just how much room you have. So 
So that is my walk around review and test drive of the redesigned 2018 Toyota Camry. Huge thanks again to Dave Edwards Toyota for providing this vehicle for today's video. Definitely check out their website in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Stay tuned for plenty more content to come. I'll see you all next video.